Okay. Ugh. This is not a smart idea, guys. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. The audio is going to be very messy for this first portion of the video. But anyways, guys, today we're going to be looking at the Mermaids a Mermaids Fashion Cool Color Change Salon. Now, I found this at Walmart today. It was $98. It, it's very expensive. And I was very intrigued by it because I haven't really seen anyone review it yet. And I love playsets. I'm a playset whore. I also bought it because it reminded me of the Monster High Hydration Station that came out like 12, 11 years ago. So it's my time to shine. It's really 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 big though guys this box is like 10 pounds i believe but it feels like 20 but then again guys i have noodle arms so like everything's very heavy to me so um yeah but guys before we get into the mermaid's color change salon let me roll my intro real quickly and we can get started be who you are no there's not gonna be any zoom ups i'm sorry but hi okay guys so we're looking at the salon today this is a massive play set i'm going to do the box portion on the floor then we're gonna move it to my little table and look at it in depth i guess you know what i'm saying but anyways as i mentioned earlier i got this at walmart today it was 98 dollars it is really big it's the first big play set for mermaids mermaids they did come out with the color change car earlier this year i do have that and i have the winter waves mermaids dolls that mga sent me like a while ago i feel like it was august or september i actually got those but i wanted to review them in winter time so expect those reviews in december but for this i was really intrigued by it i needed to review like asap because this is so cool is it a little overpriced yes i'm excited to see how it's going to work so like i mentioned earlier in the middle it's kind of like a hydration station kind of setup so it's going to have bubbles and lights over here it's just a tub so your doll can chill in there and you know color change and also you can actually fill this whole tank with water and do the color change in there as well but if you just do the bubbles your doll won't be wet so I think that's actually pretty cool. And I guess there's a shower that actually works. If it's anything like the Rainbow High one, it's probably not going to work. But on the top, it says Mermaids, Mermaids. And it says it in a bunch of different languages right here. It comes with 19 accessories. And on the bottom, you can see Kashiko. She is just vibing down there. She's trying to sit. Because like we all know mermaids dolls can't sit, which I still want them to fix. On the side, you can see that picture of Kashiko again, just vibing at the station. And then right here, we have some more shots from the little pool and salon. This girl's new. We haven't seen her. We haven't even gotten the leaks for this girl, actually. She's She's really, really pretty. It looks like she's going for a spa or a slumber party line. So I'm very excited for her to come out because she is gorgeous. And it says we're going to need four AA batteries. And if you are looking for this set, here is a part code. I am dying right now because this is super heavy. Okay, guys, now that we pretty much looked at the box, it's time to get the salon and spa set out of its box. And yeah, do I have space for this? Probably not, but I'm probably going to try to using it for other dolls. Let's get this open and see if it's worth $100. Okay, guys, so I finally assembled everything. I love how Cleo's just in the background, like, looking like a ghost. <laughs> but anyways, guys, it was kind of difficult to build. But then again, it's because I have all these studio lights and everything. And I have such crowded space at the moment. So uh, it'll probably be easier for you. Before we move on to the big play set, I'm going to show you every little individual thing this came with. Then we can move on to the big guys. So let me move this off my desk and let's look at the small things. What's everyone doing? So the first item we're going to be looking at is this weird face mask. It is made of a fabric material. It almost kind of feels like a a cotton ball but not really and in the same bag was this little towel it has a rainbow ombre on it and it also has an embroidered m for mermaids mermaids and that is purple next is the accessory card there's a total of 17 accessories in this little plastic tray itself so let me open it and we can look at all of them the first accessory is this little eyeshadow palette it is a silver color it says mermaid Fuck my drag. it says mermaids on it along with an m and a painted pink triangle and there's just another m on the back it does open 
to reveal four little shades of eyeshadow and the sticker is holographic and there is a mirror and you can kind of see me in it. Next we have a pink drink. It's in this very interesting little glass made of a transparent pink plastic. Inside it kind of looks like yogurt or a smoothie in a way. It's purple and has some pink chunks in it along with a yellow lemon slice. The next drink is in this clear cup and you can see kind of the liquids in it. Pink and it has some white ice cubes in it. A purple straw and an orange. Honestly the ice cubes in this kind of look like cheese so um, it's kind of not appetizing to look at. By the way this drink actually has a little nub for the doll's thumb. Next we get this wide tooth comb. It's silver and it has mermaids on the top. Our next accessory is this loafa. It's on a stick of course. It's a silver base and it has a purple loaf on it. Next we have a handheld little comb. It's white and it has an M for mermaids. Kind of looks like the one that Aura came with and it does actually have some bristles. Next we have this bottle of lotion. It is a pink bottle and it has a silver cap. Next we have what seems to be shampoo. It's in a transparent pink bottle and it looks very geometric and it also kind of looks like there is liquid inside of it judging by the little sparkles that they added in it. I think that was actually a really cool detail that they did. Now I don't know what this is. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be like one of those Dyson like hair blow dryers. I don't know. It's kind of funky, but it's, you know, silver and it has a M from her maze. Top is pink and it's a triangle. The next item we have is this hair crimper. I think this is super cute. It's a silver color, by the way. This is my favorite accessory. <laughs> pair of scissors and they're silver and they actually open so you can actually pretend you're cutting things. Next we have this makeup brush. It is pink. It has purple bristles and some silver right here. Next we have this jar and it is pink. It has a silver lid and it does open. Next we have a lipstick. It has a silver bottom and a light pink top and it does open to reveal a pink lipstick. Next we have the mascara. It has a hot pink bottom and a light pink top and it does open. We have a nail polish. It's in a clear tube and again it has that glitter in there. Silver top and it does open to reveal some pink nail polish. And our last accessory is this tube and it looks like it's supposed to be lip gloss and it does open to reveal its little applicator. All in all, I think the accessories that it came with are super cute and I can't wait to put these into the salon. Okay guys, so now we're gonna look at the playset fully. This is pretty heavy and especially once you add water to it, it's just gonna get a lot more heavier. So make sure you find a spot you want this to be in and it should be fine. Now, one thing I am gonna warn you about is storing water in this. I had the Laguna Hydration Station. I think a lot of us did. And I noticed when I kept water into the glass gimmicky thing where the motor runs, it kind of just like deteriorated the motor. I mean, over time, the motor is going to just give out eventually, and then the lights will only work. But for the moment, if you want your little station to look really nice, I would just dump the water out every time you're done using it rather than keeping the water into its little case. Now, you could do it for the top portion, but then that would mean you would want your doll to be completely wet all the time, which would not be a good thing. That's just my food for thought. Now, I don't have the exact measurements on me, but I will be putting them on the screen right here. Not gonna lie, I expected this to be a lot bigger, but it is actually a perfect size, and I'm not mad at it. I don't know where I'm going to put it but I am very happy that I have it but anyways let's start from corner to corner because there's a lot to cover here so we're going to start with the shower side it has this clear transparent hot pink plastic that is pointing upward and that kind of frames this entire wall and on the inside for the physical wall it is purple and it has a three-dimensional kind of star print all around it honestly this playset really reminds me of that original brat salon playset that came out in the 2000s I think it was 2002 don't quote me <laughs> but it is a very very cute it also kind of reminds me of the snow lounge that came out from moxie girls and there's also this little cutout right here which is another sink on the back now if you want the shower to work they want you to pour water into here until it fills up the little tube and then this button will spray it out i'm going to show you how that works after i just wanted to mention it now by the way there's nothing on the back it's just purple as i mentioned because this is a shower there is this really nice chromed out shower head really really nice and it will spray water out it has four actual holes now when i had the rainbow high house mine never worked so i had to get a replacement from mga and that that one did work a little better but I'm not sure if this one's gonna do the same and it is pretty much connected to this clear tube that goes all the way down and that is how you're going to spray water out at your doll there's also a chromed out little holder up here so you can just snap it back in and if we move down here is what's supposed to look like when you're turning on your faucet and there's also another clip right here in case you want to put the shower head down there like so I think that's cool to give you options but the tube is always going to be in the way there's no really hiding it and if you do put it behind here it's kind of just gonna make the bowl look a little weird so i'm definitely going to keep this on the top it also has a light purple border down here now this is the tub that the spa comes with it is made of a clear transparent plastic it has a light blue tint to it to look like a pool and it's kind of reminding me of the rainbow high pool that 
came out earlier this year. I do have a review on that, by the way, and I'll link it down below if I remember. This isn't obviously necessary if you don't want it in your display. And this looks like it will comfortably fit one doll. And it depends on their fin size. Because the mermaids dolls have different fins and all that jazz, you never know which one's not going to fit. Now we have to move on to the little tank in the center. I'm calling it the hydration station because that is what it is basically. It's just MGA's version. <laughs> and it's not like the Monster High one that had a lid right here that opened so you could put your doll inside. Instead, it's just one whole chamber. So the plastic here is clear, but on the sides here, you can see it has some holographic little glitter streaks all around. And then the back panel is clear again, and it has an M for mermaids. This comes off kind of flexible, so that's good. And it is just hot pink and translucent, and it just goes on the top. If I lift it more, it says mermaids, mermaids in the center. And on the, on the bottom, you can see where all the lights and motors are going to be. I'm very excited to see what this is going to look like with dolls in it. Of course, I'm going to put some mermaids dolls in this, so just stay tuned. So now if we move on to the salon section of this playset, it kind of is almost like a separate piece. It's like a little vanity. It is mainly a purple plastic and it has a little fake sink right here along with a chromed out faucet. This does not spray water. It's just for decoration. There is a real mirror and you can actually see me through it. So, um... Hi. <laughs> it has a darker transparent purple around it, which is a cool contrast for these. And then on the side, there is a chromed out towel hanger where you could put that towel I mentioned earlier. And then right here, we have kind of a two in one kind of thing. So this is where you're going to house all the accessories that it came with. It has two shelves right here that do actually come out and you could put them back in easy peasy. The shelves are made of a hot pink transparent plastic. Now this also works as a chair for your mermaid doll. Now you may be wondering, Jay, how are they going to sit if they can barely sit in general? Good question. So as you can see here, there is a clip right here and this transparent thing right here. This slips up to kind of be the back of the chair. And then this down here is where you're going to put the mermaid's, I guess, ankles if they had one. And they kind of just lean on it. It's kind of funky, but um, I guess it works for what it's supposed to be. The last thing really to look at is the hair dryer. Now, this is a light pink piece of plastic and it does actually bend all the way around and spin. It is great. So you can actually pose it and put it over your mermaid's doll's head. Now, this part right here does come off and it also works as the funnel, which I thought was really creative. But before we do that, it's a transparent geometric hair dryer and it has some embedded glitter in there. Pop it off from here. As you can see, there is a hole right here and all you got to do is put in the funnel, aka the hair dryer, and it just fits snugly in there. And now you're good to go for filling up the water. Now, before I fill this up with water, there are four spots for water on this playset. There is the front right here where you're going to see all the bubbles happen. The main tank if you wanted to do some color change dunking, the sink for the shower to work, and of course the pool as well. I am going to show you real quickly on how to work the lights and bubbles. So on the way bottom of the playset, you're going to see an on and off switch. Currently it is on on the off switch and all you gotta do is to turn it on is flip it over and you can already hear it's making its bubble sounds now i definitely expected like a button or something not just an on and off switch i'm gonna turn my lights off real quickly i'm gonna show you what it looks like without the water in there has blue, purple, and pink lights this current mode is just flashing and nothing else is happening Okay guys, so I filled three of the four areas with some water. I didn't put too much water into the pool because it's not really important in my opinion. I might add a little more after, but at the moment I think the level I have it at is pretty fine. Give off the illusion what it needs to. I also did not fill the main tank up. We're not gonna be doing really any color changing in this video, but I will be using this tank for future mermaids color changes because I mean, it works perfectly fine. Joining us in the salon is Kashiko and Mora. They are both going to test out all of the features. Kashiko's probably gonna get the most wet because because, I mean, it's Kashiko. So I'm going to be putting Mora into the tank. And because mermaids have the tail that makes their stand, there isn't really a clip inside of the tank. So, um, yeah. And there she is. It looks like she's underwater, but she really isn't. As for Kashiko, I'm, I'm going to have her sit down into the pool. You can kind of see Kashiko's tail is already changing color, which is pretty cool. We are now going to test out the shower and see if it actually works because this can actually help the tail to change fully. So as I mentioned, there is a button right there and all we are going to do is push it. So let's see if it actually works.
And yeah, it actually works pretty well. Look at that. That was actually pretty good. I'm actually surprised that it sprays out a lot of water. Okay guys, but now that we have water in the physical wall of the tank, we can actually see what the bubbles are gonna look like and the lights with the water. So let's turn the lights off once more and see how this works. Okay, that is actually really, really cool. I may have filled it up just a little bit too much. And there is a fill line, it's around here. I filled it up just a little bit too much, but it's so cool. It's almost like a little wave, but this looks so cool. <laughs> I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff, by the way. As for the motor, it isn't too loud, but this is not something you should use as like a nightlight, of course. I think it's so cool though. Let me know your thoughts on the effect down below. But now guys, I am going to turn the lights back on. I'm also gonna add all the accessories in and pose Kashiko to play in the hair salon to show you how that works. Okay guys, so I have set up the playset. I think it looks super cute. No one is chilling in the pool at the moment, but it's fine. We have Kashiko doing her makeup at the vanity and more is still vibing in the tank. I really think this is a really cute playset. One thing you might be wondering is how do you drain the water? There are three ports in this playset on the back as to where you would drain the water. So the easiest one obviously is going to be the pool. All you have to do is lift this out and you could just dump it in your sink. For the sink, there is a port on the bottom and all you gotta do is pull that and it's to drain all the water from the sink. For the front of the tank, there are two ones for the tank in case you fill it up with water to dunk the doll's tail in for color change. And there's the wall that has the bubbles. Once you unplug both of them, water will come out of both, obviously. Make sure to lift the machine while it's draining. And that is all you gotta do to let it drain out. I think it was really smart that they added that instead of just bringing this entire heavy playset to like a sink. I think this playset is really, really cool. I think that this is something that is going to be useful for not even just the mermaids dolls. You could use it for your monster high dolls you could use it for your rainbow high dolls do i think it's worth the 100 dollars price point not really i think it's a bit expensive totally wait for a sale to get it unless you're very eager like i was to get this because i think it's actually a really cool playset. i think you get some really pretty photos out of it and also the tank lighting up is awesome i think this is going to be in handy for any mermaids reviews i have to do because i can do the color change easy peasy and i think it just looks so cute it's so like nostalgic to me like for the brats when they came out back in the day and i think it comes with a lot of cute little pieces i mean look at this like oh and even the mirror, like the mirror being like real is like iconic. And I really liked how the funnel was the hairdryer. So that's really cool for a double function. And the shower actually working for me. But anyways, guys, let me know what your thoughts on this place that are. Do you want it? Are you planning on waiting to get it on a sale? Or do you want it now? But yeah, guys, if this is your first time watching my channel, hi, my name is Jay and I do doll stuff. Duh. And I would love you to join the channel. And if you aren't following me on Instagram or on TikTok, it's at ZombieXCorn as well. And guys, I will see you in the next video. But for now, bye. Bye.